There's been a lot of movement atop shows. Different showrunners come in, different showrunners have been ousted. Um, shows like Community and Walking Dead and others have experienced some change there. How do you guys deal with that kind of change? Let you know after they fire us. <laughs> I, know, I, I was saying so, I don't so have far. much experience in that area. I don't. I haven't really been a part of a show where there's been sort of a that's ever happened. So I mean, I do find that that with us, the continuity of of having the same people at the beginning through to the you know the further stages of the process, the machine as a whole refines itself each successive season. And I would imagine that starting over can shake things up and introduce fresh blood, but it can also, it, it's starting over. Depends on what kind of show it is. The idea of anyone other than you doing Mad Men seems ludicrous. Yet on AMC, they've gone they, through. They've ca they called you, right? <laughs> yeah. No, he, he was great. The they, they, always, they, they threaten a lot. I, don't know I was going to say, they must threaten because on, <laughs> I mean, on Walking Dead, <laughs> they've had three guys do that now. And the show has, still has great reviews. The ratings are better than ever. So, Well, we don't know. We don't know. Um, and I would say that it's very hard to be that, you know, when they were threatening to get rid of me during, uh, it was always like, you know, I knew someone would take that job. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. I would not want that job, but I knew someone would take that job. And so that wasn't the issue, like, are you replaceable? Anybody thinks they're not replaceable is crazy. Um, I can tell you that, you know, I, I left the West Wing after the fourth season. Uh, I got a call from Larry David, who had left Seinfeld before Seinfeld was over. And he said, uh, listen to me, under no circumstances can you ever watch the show again. Uh, either it's going to be great and you're going to be miserable, or it's going to be less than great and, and you're going to be miserable. But either way, you're going to be miserable. And I thought, well, you know, it's, it's Larry David. He's kind of professionally miserable. And, um, <laughs> so I put it in, and I can't tell you whether it was great or, or less than great, because it was less than 30 seconds after it started that I dove at the DVD player and slammed it off, because it was like watching somebody make out with my girlfriend. It was just so difficult to watch this character, these characters in this world that I had created uh, no longer needing me uh, at all. I had the same experience with Dawson's Creek. It hurt. It was my personal story. It was my growing up. It was yeah. my life. Right. And it was, and I couldn't watch it. It hurt too much. And I have to this day not seen every episode of Dawson's Creek because it just was torture. <laughs> I, I can assure, I can assure both you guys that when you get fired from a job, you feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> You just don't watch it after you go after you're, after you're let go. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.